the time, right honorable Raila Odinga will be coming to talk to you. And I spoke to him on my way here and he sends his greetings ahead of his coming. Please welcome him when he does come. <laughs> People went to visit him yesterday <laughs> on his face. And uh, when they visited Baba, we call him, he had to change his telephone number. <laughs> because the agency put the number everywhere. And well, maybe it's a measure of cyberbullying. Please be kind to Baba. <laughs> but if they can do that to the right honorable Raila Amolo Dinga, imagine who else in this country. Transparent. You use vehicles which are gasless. I, I saw a friend from Lusaka, Zambia, a young lady. I spoke to President Akaide about a week ago. And he told me when he took over as a president of Zambia, he refused to buy any new vehicles. And, and uh, his ministers were very unhappy with him. But now the Zambians are beginning to see what President Akaide did. We need the kind of leadership. When I was coming here, and when you get your tea break, you will see fewer gaslers because there are ministers with you <laughs> in this compound. Each of them with fewer gaslers, with uh, bodyguards, with uh, all kinds of personnel. Kenyans are demanding accountability. By bringing Article 37 to life, which says that is under Kenyan constitution, and allow me to use that uh, Kenyan example for uh, the leaders, the young leaders from Africa, in the hope you can use this as a, as a test case. Actually what is going on in Kenya should be a, a, a study, a case study for the whole of the African region. Because Kenyan youth eh, got so highly educated, 